Hi, my name's Toby and I live just around the corner from the Royal Botanical Gardens at Kew in South West London. I've been coming to them since I was born and in this series I thought I'd share a few of the things I'd learned about one of my favourite places on earth. This is the Pagoda at the southern end of Kew Gardens near Lion Gate. Pagodas originate in East Asia and are traditional towers with multiple tiers, each with multiple eaves. The name is thought to originate from the Mandarin word pa ko ta, meaning an eight-tiered tower, which is odd. We'll come to why later on. This particular one was built in 1762 inside of a year, back when it was very fashionable to have oriental follies and other buildings. The architect, William Chambers, built many things in the gardens, including a Turkish mosque which stood close to the pagoda on the site now occupied by the Japanese gateway. Anyway, back to the pagoda. Aside from lacking its original paintwork and the golden dragons that once adorned the corner of the eaves, it suffers from one more flaw. It has an even number of levels, namely 10, when traditionally a pagoda, despite its naming origin, should have an odd number. Nonetheless, it is still a star attraction 250 years after its construction. Due to its slightly poor state, it is undergoing a two-year restoration, aiming to be completed in 2017 and funded by the historic royal palaces. When it's complete, it'll be open regularly so that visitors can take in the incredible views. Then, finally, we'll be able to see this 18th century wonder as visitors to the gardens saw it all those years ago. 